hello and welcome i guess the recording is on okay yeah so yeah in the last video we, we just we, we just make like our first endpoint for, for the fast api for the fast api application and you can see this is the testing endpoint that we made so what we are going to do in this video we are going to make a database connection and how we can run migrations in a fast api how to connect fast api for the sql databases so what you can do i suppose you have already installed uh, postgres sql on your system so i'm not going for the installation if you don't have the postgres on your system you can install by going to the postgres website or any sql website so this video is like a connecting a fast api with the postgres okay let's get started without wasting any time what you have to do you have to install uh, two libraries one is for the one is called SQL Alchemy and second is called Alembic. So Alembic is basically for running your migration and SQL Alchemy is like uh, SQL Alchemy is, uh, is an ORM that will help instead of writing the complex SQL queries, we are going to uh, convert that using Python code. So that's why we use SQL Alchemy. So let's install these libraries. We will install SQL Alchemy. I hope I spelled it right. Yeah, it is installing. Next thing you have to install Alembic. Pip install Alembic. And uh, Alembic is also ins installed. It comes with the other libraries too. Just ignore that. So we have installed, uh, we have installed SQL Alchemy. We have installed Alembic. What we need to do next? At the moment you install Alembic, nothing will happen over there. Yeah, so let's create one. Uh, let's create one model file into our application. So let's create inside this application for now, and we will we will change is like uh, at the end of this series we will refactor our code as per this industry. Okay, no worry. We have model any model you can open like this. Okay, so let's create some models. Okay, just let me add some headings over there. Models. Suppose I'm going to create one model called employee. It has only two fields, employee name, employee ID, and employee address. Employee name, and employee contact, and employee address. Okay, it has three fields. So yeah, first of all, we need to import something. Like as you can see, like in a SQL database, we have different different data types over there. Like a varchar, we have numeric, we have date and time, everything. So uh, in a similar way, we have these uh, parameters in a fast API as well. So here, yeah, let's create like the first thing over there. So we have to import something. So just type uh, like this from this income import. We need, we need to import columns because we are going to create tables. And uh, after that, uh, for integer thing, you can see like uh, big int or you can take normal integer as well. For a string type, we can take the where care thing. Uh, yeah, let's let's go with these three only. So what you can do next, you have to create a class over there. So class class will be like uh, uh, the model that you want to create. Suppose I'm going to create a class called employee, employee, employee. Okay, and it will import from the base class. So where where is the base class situated? So yeah, so you have to create, uh, yes, so you have to, uh, you have to set up everything like a base class and these things. So what you can do, let's create one file, uh, let's create one file that will, that will keep our, that will keep all the dependencies, dependencies in the sense like all database connectivity and those things. So let's create one more file called db underscore setup dot pi so this file will contain all the database related thing and uh, that will uh, responsible for the fast api so yeah let's create it from sql alchemy we need to import something called create engine create engine and next thing what we need to do uh, you can create like uh, we have to import some declaratives over there. So for that, you can type like as from SQL me mm, dot uh, declarative 
import declarative base so this base here we are going to use inside this main file you can see here okay so let's complete the database setup first okay and after that you have to make take a session maker over there so sql alchemy dot from the orm we are going to take import session maker okay we have we have take these three things and the next thing what you can do now you have to uh, create your database uri uri is nothing but the collection of your database name and the username password and the port of your database so just type sql alchemy uh, database URI and it will be a string type so we are using a Postgres SQL over there so it will be like a Postgres a Postgres SQL plus psycho PG psycho PG is like uh, in build uh, suppose whenever you want to work with uh, a Postgres SQL database you have to use psycho pg2 for that it will just like a binary it has two versions one is a binary one is a normal so you can go with any version and the port as as we are going to use the local database so you can simply type 127.0.0.2 and i guess yeah and a port for your postgres where postgres is running for 5432 this is the normal default port for the postgres and after then you have to uh, add your database name so for this for this for this video i'm going to make as employee db so employee and db this is the database employee db is a database name i will create this so let me i, I will tell you how to create this database and uh, after then we have to pass like uh, two parameters like a user and a password for your database so I just passing my password over there. So you can, and this is a local password, so you can't access it. So you can pass your own, your own Postgres relation, uh, Postgres passwords. So for me, the user is dev, and uh, and uh, the password will be dev pass. Okay. So this is my database URI, and what we can we can do next we have to create one engine over there so for that we have create engine that's we just imported it and after then we have to pass something called the uri that we just created sql database uri and we have to some pass this these are the optional things so you for the better best practice you can pass these things and uh, future true. if you want to ignore you can ignore these two as well so we have created the engine over there and now we have to make a session so just take a one variable called session local and it will be like a session maker and and session maker in the sense like uh, uh, auto commit will be fast uh, false if you make it true so you don't need to write db dot commit every time whenever you're running any query over there so taking auto commit as a false by default auto okay spelling is true yeah and auto flush now you can pass these parameter it auto flush is also false why flush we use like i suppose you have to you're adding some value into the database and you want to before committing it you want to get the id of that particular entry that is going to database so in that case you can use db flush and you can access it by the db id so that's how we we will see in the future videos and after we need to bind the engine and what is next we again the future is true so yeah our engine is has been created and now we are going to initialize our base over there so these are the base base thing that we just added into our main file and what we need to do next we have to write one function that will that needs to be taken care every time whenever we make any db operation into an api endpoint so just take example like a get db you can name it that you want okay so db will be a session maker session local we should call it and again we have try and we have something called yield concept so this is kind of a, a gen, uh, generator over there so really why why i 
take a DB and uh, this finally cap. And at the end, we have to close the connection. Yeah. Yeah, so this is our like uh, our DB set of files. So I, we just created one database called employee DB. Let's create that and how we can do that. So just log in into the Postgres and uh, let me zoom it. Okay, so Postgres. Just let me log into the Postgres. Just Postgres. This is a local Postgres actually. Okay, I just log in into the Postgres and I need to create a database. So for creating a database in a Postgres or a MySQL, we have command like create database and database name. So what the data database name we use like a employee DB. Let's copy it for the security and just paste it there. You can see the database has been created. And if I see into this database, let me for connecting database, we have slash C and database name. You can see I have connected the database and if I see all the tables, you can see that I did not find any relation now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we don't have any relation right now. So let's create one relation into our database. So that's how why we are importing base over there. So it is into DB setup file. So yeah, from DB setup import base and let's take base over there. Okay. So this is our model actually. And uh, let's keep it here so for the safer side, not confuse over there. Okay. Okay. So now we have to add columns into our table. Uh, before adding column into our table, what we have to do, we have to uh, give a table name. So for giving a table name, we have some. We have to do like this. We have we have a variable called table name, and here we have to pass the table name that we want. So let's take an employee as a table name, employee details. Okay, employee details as a table name. And next thing, the first column that you want. So every table should have a primary key as a ID of that particular table. So we can take it like a employee ID. It will be auto incremented field. So, so it will be type of big int and primary is true at the moment we say primary is true so it will be auto incremented automatically yeah we have employee id and we have next field we have employee name so name will be like uh, varchar type so let's take the varchar over there and we just pass like uh, limit of the name so suppose we are taking 40 as a name if any person has a long name okay so we have we added varchar over there. We have employee ID, we have employee name, and other we have employee contact. Okay, we have contact. So contact contact number. Okay. So for the number is like an teaser should be in teaser, but uh, it can be a it can be a string as well. But like a, let's take it as an teaser. It can be a, a string in the sense like uh, basically we are not do any computation work on any phone number right we just take the value and use it so that's why i'm saying like a, it can be string as well okay so yeah we have added three fields called like a employee id employee name and employee contact number so this is this is just only thing that you need to create table into the database how you can do in a fast api we just create one class this is a database class we are importing we are just taking the base over there derived from the base and we just pass the name and the type of the field that we wanted okay so you can see like I have added these things. What we need to do next, we have to run the migration. So how, we, how, how can we run the migration? Let me save this file. And before doing anything, we have to add these things into the main file. Main file in the sense like we have added this class, but we have to do something. Uh, for creating the tables, we have to add the metadata of these table with the binding the engine as well. So how can we do that? Simply we have something called, how can we do that? We can do, sim 
simply call base and dot meta metadata actually 